Way Rum Fest 2024 is done. Welcome along, Rum fans. I'm always me at the weirdo. Pixie, the rambling rum spurt. I got a bit confused there. Uh, right, I have a purchase from Rumfest. But first, I am going to do a video that we've been waiting for on the channel. Big Dave has come in clutch. Shout out to Big Dave. With a taster of this beauty. Ooh. Rum Baclat. <laughs> Let's have a read. Contains three year old Caribbean premium rum. Smooth taste with a subtle sweetness only derived from the best Caribbean sugar cane, creating a luxurious, well rounded drinking experience. Okay, so very conspicuous, this one. I've got my trusty Dalek glass for this one. I'm just going to pour a little for now. Cheers. Let's have a smell at it. Ooh. Quite strong. Strong um, esters, I think. Let's have a smell. Let's have a taste. Definitely getting Jamaican vibes. So there's definitely Jamaican rum in there. That's surprisingly, that's pretty good for a neat sipper. That I wasn't expecting that. On reading the bottle, I didn't have high hopes. Um but it's it's decent alcohol level, decent punch. I can taste taste like the that it's high esters. Um, it just, I don't know. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. Good job, Dave. Um, I don't know, really. I don't really know what to say. It's not really on much of a... I'm not really being... it. I'm not able to pick out many flavours or notes or anything. It's a standard rum. It's not, like, giving me any special vibes or anything. But it's a decent one. It's, you know, drinkable. Definitely, um, you can tell there's some age in there, but it's not heavily aged. Obviously, the colour gives that away. If you look, there's a little bit of ageing, but not much. But yeah, it's not... The smell of it and the initial sort of thought makes you think that it's not going to be smooth and that it's going to be a bit oh but it is actually quite smooth give it a try why not yeah worth it i don't know how much it is um if i if i just quickly bring up their actual shop, I believe they are thirty-five pound a bottle from them direct, and they are English. Nice, nice, quite impressed. But yeah, that was Rumba Clark. I'm not sure where I'd put it in my scales. It's not. Like, it's not on the same level as um, my aged rums that I love as neat sippers. 
but it's not a bad rum. It's not one that I wouldn't have again. I don't particularly know if I'd go out and spend 35 quid on a bottle, but equally, I'd say you've got to give it a try and work that out for yourself because it could be a neat sipper for many people because it is smooth enough. It's just personally, I think, putting this in a rum and coke might be the way forward, putting this with lemonade whatever floats your boat but that was rumba clark honestly maybe a little bit high on the price point for my liking but thanks to dave for letting me try it and yeah i'm gonna get on to the next one because i've got a rum fest purchase on the way to keep it locked uh thanks for watching and yeah i'll catch you in a bit <laughs>